Don't know what a share registry is or how to find yours? This video guide is all about finding and understanding your share registry. This is a must know for anyone investing in shares or ETFs. Hi, I'm Tom from Tom Explains. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to remind you that this video is for educational purposes only. It's not personal financial advice. Please consider your own circumstances or consult a financial advisor before making investment decisions. Now let's get started. In this video guide, we'll explore what a share registry does, how to find your share registry and the steps to set up your account, what HIN and SRN numbers are, dividend reinvestment plans, AGM voting, and other crucial shareholder communications. Let's dive in to what a share registry is. When a company like BHP or Telstra lists on the Australian Stock Exchange, they face a mountain of administration. Imagine managing details for millions of shareholders. That's where share registries come in. Companies like ComputerShare, Link Market Services and Boardroom manage this administrative load so the companies can focus on their core business. These share registries take care of updating shareholder details, paying dividends, and sending out communications about AGMs. It's an outsourced service for which the company pays a fee. Finding your share registry is straightforward. You'll usually find their details on your holding or dividend statement, often in the top right-hand corner. You can also use your share broker's platform. Let's use Comsec as an example. Log in and go to Quotes and Research, then Quotes, and enter your stock code. Click About, then scroll to Share Registry Details. Here you'll find everything you need. Setting up your Share Registry account is as easy as visiting the Registry's website. Once there, you enter your Holder Identification Number, HIN, or Shareholder Reference Number. Your HIN is linked to your entire portfolio with the share broker, while SRNs are unique to each individual investment. Remember, these numbers are key to your investment security. Never share them with third parties. If you're eager to expand your knowledge, our course, How to Invest Shares in Australia, is a great resource, and it's available for $99. Get started today. Another crucial aspect is your tax file number. Ensuring it's recorded with both your share registry and broker is crucial. Without it, you might face higher withholding taxes on dividends and you'd have to reclaim it at the end of the financial year. Keeping your tax details correct helps streamline your tax affairs. Life changes like moving house mean you must keep your share registry details up to date. This includes your home address or postal address, bank details, and email address for communications. It's not just about administrative ease, it's about getting your dividends correctly and on time. Dividend reinvestment plans, or DRPs, are another key feature managed by share registries. Instead of receiving dividends as cash, you can choose to reinvest them in more shares. It's one way to grow your investment. Also, as a shareholder, you're part of the company. This means you get to vote in annual general meetings, AGMs, and have a say in major company decisions. The share registry facilitates this communication. Staying updated with company announcements like share splits or dividend payments is vital. These updates, communicated through your share registry, are essential as they directly impact your investment. Engaging proactively with your share registry enhances your investment experience. Keep your details current, participate in DRPs if they suit your strategy, and stay informed about your investments. Thanks for joining me to explore the intricacies of share registries. Remember, informed investing is smart investing. Leave a comment or ask a question, but remember to like and subscribe to get more video guides or visit tom-explains.com.